I'm curious about the effects of acetone on an epoxy finish, so I'm just going to do a quick test. I got some new West System epoxy, and I'm going to mix up one pump of the resin with one pump of the hardener. And I'll stir this for about a minute to make sure that everything is equally distributed. And then I'm going to work towards two equally filled containers. Uh, one is going to have about that much epoxy, and the other one is going to have about yeah, maybe half as much epoxy. And I'm not scraping, this is just straight poured finish just to make sure that uh, it's consistent. And I'm going to go with probably about half of that same amount of acetone. Now they look like they're both filled about the same height. And I'll mix this guy up. This is more acetone than you would normally want to use in an epoxy finish. So I'm really overdoing it here. I probably overdid it a little too much. But the experiment is already underway, so let's see what happens. You can always do it again. All right, that turned out just about clear, so I will take this one. I didn't give that just a little extra stir. This is the epoxy with no acetone, and I'm just going to dump the whole thing on top and just let it do its thing. And this is the epoxy with acetone. Likewise, I'm going to dump the whole thing on top and let it do its thing. And now we'll come back in a day or so. It's been a couple hours. It isn't finished curing yet, but I just thought it was interesting to, to see where things were at right now. Obviously, the acetone side, the uh, solvent ate through that magic marker and spread it out. The regular side has quite a bit uh, more bubbles on it, larger bubbles. The acetone side has some very small bubbles all over the surface. Um, I don't know about the texture on those. I'm not going to touch it until it's cured. But you can see the, uh, the regular side ended up um, distributing about the same amount as the acetone side. So I got a little runoff on the bottom there. And um, I think the film thickness looks about the same on both of them. And I can probably put, uh, put uh, some calipers on there once it's cured. But uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for with the acetone side was just that it would level out uh, and uh, get rid of the bubbles by itself a little bit easier and, um, and not really affect the final uh, the durability of the final film and uh, that's what I'm counting on that that acetone the solvent just evaporated and what's left there is the same epoxy on the right as on the left but uh, we'll find out after another day give this some time to cure up and then uh, start doing some durability testing it's been about four hours and here's another interesting observation here is the uh, the regular epoxy kinda sticky here is the acetone thinned epoxy kinda of still wet it's been about 24 hours so everything should be pretty well cured and uh, you can see everything still looks about the same you got the bigger bubbles in the uh, in the regular epoxy and the much lighter bubbles in the acetone epoxy one thing that I'm finding kinda of interesting is that while on the surface everything appears to be set um, see if you can see this the uh, the epoxy that didn't have any acetone is definitely harder whereas this over here seems to have almost like under the surface um, I thought maybe it was still wet under the surface so I, I put a little slice in it and put some pressure and no uh, it just seems to be softer so the the surface is tack free but um, when I push on it I'm definitely getting some flexibility and I can put a fingernail dent pretty easily and the epoxy on the right so give it some more time and see if another day will uh, maybe let that cure up to full strength but as of right now definitely seems weaker than the epoxy on the left I also did a just a quick test with the knife I was able to slice off a piece of the epoxy and it it's dry underneath so there's no uh, I was wondering if the acetone is preventing it from curing that's not the case it's just a little bit softer still I was unable to cut through the epoxy on the left because that's has already cured hard. 
I've given it another 48 hours, so I think altogether that's been about three days that this has been sitting, so this is pretty, pretty much as cured as it's going to get at this point. The uh, untreated epoxy, or the unthinned epoxy, is still, uh, that looks great, completely solid, and the 50-50 epoxy and acetone mix is still soft. It's not wet. It's, uh, I think that's about as cured as it's going to get. I think just because of all the holes in the epoxy from the, um, the small holes from the acetone evaporating over time has just left this a softer finish. So if you're looking for a high strength epoxy finish, uh, you don't want to thin it too much. Uh, again, this is excessively thin, but it did cure up solid. I might use a, a something this thin, like a 50-50 mix, if I had some rotten wood and I was just trying to inject something in there to solidify the wood fibers somewhat. And that, uh, at, at this degree, the nice thing about that is it looks like it could still have some flexibility with the wood uh, to allow the, uh, the patched area to expand and contract with the rest of a board. Um, that's just an idea though. Normally you wouldn't want to do 50-50 acetone epoxy, but it's an option and obviously it cured up fine. It's still um, it's quite a bit softer and more flexible than the um, than the regular epoxy would have been. So uh, that's the first test and maybe we can do another one later with uh, with a more reasonable mix of acetone. I almost forgot to check the film thickness. Uh, I thought it was going to be about the same just because of the amount of runoff on the bottom from both pieces was approximately the same, but it turns out that's just because the thinner epoxy ran underneath the piece of wood and that's where all that extra content was. Uh, in fact, you can see that the, the film, the buildup of epoxy on the surface is approximately two-thirds on the acetone side what it was on the unthinned side. So quite a bit of a difference there. And uh, also reminded me, just seeing all that epoxy in the front, that it was a good idea to take a chance to level my workbench again so that the next experiment is a little bit more accurate. 